uh, we've uh, long had a uh, desire to control the erosion and other things on this farm and a few years ago we went to a, a farming practice called uh, direct seed farming or no-till. We've been in it about six years and we've liked what we've seen. There's been some ups and downs of this and things to learn. We are in the process of learning all the time. We keep our fields sprayed through the summer with uh, a sprayer using chemical, mainly Roundup and 2,4-D. We uh, then go into uh, the planting time and for this we have here a John Deere uh, single disc seeder. Uh, this drill works very, very well in your uh, heavy stubble fields. Uh, it can go through heavy stubble and not plug up. And it, uh, it has this feature on it. The opener's about 10 inches apart. You have an option of putting different closing wheels on. And you'll see here I've got a spike one. And uh, that is very good for moist conditions in seeding in the spring when you have wetter conditions and it goes around and it moves the soil back in over the area where the seed has been planted. You have a nylon strip here and as the seed comes down this here is is pulling and forming a really nice furrow and then this roller wheel here comes behind and then places a seed in the bottom of the furrow that you've made with the, uh, the disc in front. And this here uh, pulls away any dry dirt and moves it out of the way as the seed drops down and then this immediately closes behind so that the wheat is always in the moist soil. And you can see little bits of uh, 1152 fertilizer that's been put right in with the seed. It's harvest time and and uh, uh, this is the ending up scene of a, uh, of a crop a year uh, with with a with the harvest anyway and uh, this header is called a stripper header. It's a shellborn stripper header. The header's made in England and uh, the wheat comes in here and is caught right here in the center and it, it's turning 550 revolutions per minute and it just strips the wheat right out of the head and throws it in the back and then the auger takes it over to the center of the combine. After the stripper header comes through, you can see the wheat here in the background. It hasn't been harvested yet. And when it comes through and takes the, takes the kernels out of the head, then you have this kind of residue left. You can see the standing residue almost as high as the wheat. And the rows here are 10 inches apart. And this is what is left with the residue after the stripper headers come through. You can see all the standing straw. There's very little straw that's laid down only when your tires of your combine goes, goes over it. And so you can see the value of the standing straw. This is what collects the, wind, uh, the snow and shades the ground for uh, the, the moisture and rain that comes. This is what you're looking at for the uh, erosion control on the fields uh, that you use this, uh, this practice on. This is the wheat. Uh, this is one variety of the wheat that we've planted this year. We usually plant about two or three varieties to see which is the best variety and you can see how well this is headed out and in there is uh, as many kernels that's going to turn into the bushels that's needed uh, to uh, go into the storehouse for the church. Mm -hmm.